We're gonna rock and roll through this video today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so hot today. This shirt, by the way, is from Lululemon before, because I know people are gonna run to the comments. It's Lulu. What is up, Kyle? <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel today is a favorites video you already know i love favorites videos i love filming them i love watching them you guys always have great recommendations for me so let's just get on into the video first thing i want to mention first of all look at this adorable box from tula okay you know every single time i do a favorites video i'm so impressed with how much new and improved things Tula continues to come out with. This is actually uh, just released yesterday on the 28th. So today is Thursday when you guys are seeing this video. This is the 24 seven power swipe hydrating day and night treatment eye balm. So this is kind of like a combination between their normal like under eye balms, but the balms are not treatments like they're not under eye creams and this one is hydrating you can use it in the day and at night i have it on underneath my uh, eye makeup right now but it's firming peptide and collagen eye balm hydrates firms and reduces the lines of fine line wrinkles and deep puffs it's completely clear so when you put it on under anything you can obviously you can see it's not like super shiny just a little teeny tiny bit of hydration but it's so nice. It doesn't really have any type of overwhelming smell, which like for me personally, I don't like a ton of very smelly things under my eyes. Even on my lips, I get a little funky with that stuff. So what I really like about this eye balm in particular, I mean, obviously it has the probiotic complex that all of Tula stuff has, but it also has hyaluronic acid, squalene, who I'm saying that right, caffeine, apple, and watermelon, but it doesn't smell fruity. So if you're somebody that likes a nice like hydrated, but also wanting some treatment purposes for under your eyes, not just the like brightening, this be a great option for you and it just released yesterday so you can get it on tula.com of course discount code is mander for anything tula and i just you know i've been really impressed they've been really stepping their game up and i've just been freaking loving it i also recently wrote a skincare blog that i don't know if i've talked about on my youtube channel yet so i'll link that in the description box as well because i talk a lot about like all the different things that i do to my skin that i've changed recently getting into like my later 20s anyways Moving along, we're going into beauty because I have more beauty stuff this month than normal. I talked about this in my Ulta haul. This is the Bumble and Bumble Perette a Powder Post-Workout Dry Shampoo Mist. I showed you in the video, I said I was gonna let you know if I liked it and I love it. It is amazing. So like after my Peloton workouts, all like the back part, the nape of my neck is always soaking wet. So what I do is when I tie my hair up to go in the shower, if I'm not washing my hair, I spray this all around. I kind of like rub it in just a little bit. It says to leave on for 30 seconds, but I leave it on the entire time I'm in the shower. Then when I get out, I brush it through and it smells amazing. And it does such a great job at like soaking up all the excess oil and making your hair look nice and fresh absolutely love it would recommend 100 if you are a sweaty workout gal like myself and you don't wash your hair every day you really shouldn't be washing your hair every day but you know i know it's kind of gross with how much we sweat especially in the summertime then another dry shampoo honorable mention this month is uh, oribe <laughs> i'm probably saying that wrong too also if i sound a little stuffy my allergies today are so bad for some reason this is the gold lust dry shampoo and what i love about this one Number one is it smells so good, but it's also a really nice texturizer and it doesn't leave like that uh, white cast that a lot of dry shampoos do. I used to be a really big fan of the Batiste dry shampoo and then I just as I was blonder, I didn't like that it left such a powder. I know you could get the blonde one, but I don't feel like that formula was the same, you know? So I've been always on the hunt for a good dry shampoo, and so far those have been my go-tos of the last couple of months. This is a weird favorite. I know it's not really beauty, but it's kind of health, and I feel like I should mention it. This is probably the best toothbrush I've ever owned in my entire life. I don't even know like why I bought this. It just looked very sleek and it had so many good reviews on Amazon that I was actually kind of skeptical. <laughs> but this is just the Oral-B I-O or I-10, I don't know. First of all, look at how cool this is. I mean, if you think this is cool, maybe some people don't, but I just like that this toothbrush is like a smart toothbrush. Like what era are we living in that we have smart toothbrushes, right? But no, but I've always really loved Oral-B toothbrushes. I've had an electric one of Oral-B before, just like the regular old white one. Um, but I do like that this has a magnetic stand. It's a very small stand. It's just a little circle that it sits on. So like it's very easy to clean. It doesn't get messy, but there are so many different 
modes on this toothbrush. Austin does not, like, obviously you can just, like, pop the heads off, so he needs to brush his teeth more gentle. He's like an aggressive toothbrusher, and I always tell him, but he doesn't listen. So I like that there's a soft setting for this, and but it's still like strong enough to really clean your teeth well. Like I'm telling you, this toothbrush makes you feel like you just left the dentist. It's fantastic. I also want to mention this because I realized that in my Ulta video, I was spraying the men's one, which I bought as well, and I really love them both. Oh, I shouldn't have sprayed that right on that tattoo. Ooh, a little crusty today, don't judge me. But this is the female version of the Valentino. Now, you know, gender is a social construct. You can use whatever perfume, cologne spray that you want. I personally love both of them. The black one is a little bit more, I didn't like to use the word musky in my Ulta video, but it's musky a little bit, right? Like it's kind of like deep and sensual. And this one is just a little bit more floral and fruity love it every single time i have this on someone's like oh what are you wearing you smell so good this is my favorite and i am not a bougie perfume girl ever but this is worth it so so good <laughs> kind of health fitnessy but also kind of clothing um this is a flip belt now those of you who are runners are probably like yeah manders where have you been but i used to just run with my phone in my hand because you know the 12 pro max is like massive and i didn't like putting it on my arm. So I would just hold it in my hand and then that got really old. So when I went into Fleet Feet, I got myself a good old flip belt and you just, like it doesn't look like you could fit your phone in there, but you can, you can fit your keys and whatever. And then you just whoop, zip it up and then you can pull this little guy to make it tighter. I think this is just a small one. And you wear it around your waist, it feels like nothing. It's actually nice because nothing flops around. I also used to put in my sports bra, definitely do not recommend doing that. And so this is just a really great way to hold anything like keys, AirPod things, phone, whatever, around your waist. And if you're maybe new to running and didn't know about this, I would highly recommend, you know, because I was a newbie runner myself. Speaking of which, I ran that stupid Bix mar not marathon, it's 7.2 miles, but whatever. Uh, up 713 feet of elevation and I can barely walk today. Uh, but I did wear my flip belt yesterday during that. And I wanna mention um, these, I am always on the hunt for like a solid racer back, comfortable, breathable workout shirt. Now, a while ago, I found these super cheapy ones off of Amazon. I think they were like 25 bucks for a pack of four or five or whatever. But uh, I will say the quality is eh. Like they were okay for the first couple of weeks, but the more you wash them, they just kind of look a little dingy. And it's like, okay, it's fine. They're like $5 tank tops, right? But if you are looking for ones that are, let me see if I can show you this material up close. It's kind of spandexy, but also nice and soft and still very flattering. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but these are actually from Abercrombie and they are the Soft AF Collection, which let me tell you, everything I've purchased from Abercrombie, their Soft AF Collection, I have loved. Amazing. So it's kind of form-fitting and stretchy, but it's not restrictive. Um, in my video about uh, calories, I think, I was wearing a white tank top and everyone was asking where it was from, and it was one of these from Abercrombie. So I bought them in like every color, absolutely love them. Let's move on to the techie things. Um, this month, I'm not gonna drag my fan in here, but I'll pop up a picture. I purchased the Dyson little bladeless fan because the next two things I'm gonna talk about, I'll explain why. I just, during the summer, I sleep so hot. I'm not bulking or anything. Like, I don't know if those of you who have been around for a while remember, I think this was 2018, I was bulking and my doctor just said it was because my metabolism was like going crazy. I was sweating my ass off at night, like literally drenching my sheets. It was disgusting. And that start, kind of started happening, not to that extent, but a little bit more during the summertime recently. I just am so over it. And even with the smaller fan that I had next to me on my nightstand and keeping the air at 67, I was still sweating. So I got some Cozy Earth sheets, which I will give a mention in this video as well, because they are probably the most comfortable sheets I've ever had in my life. They're better than Sheik's. This is my opinion. I think they're better than Sheik's and they're very cooling. So this little trifecta <laughs> I'm about to tell you, I have not woken up sweaty 
one time. So first of all, the Dyson fan, okay? This is the Dyson fan. Yes, very expensive. I know, I waited a long time to buy this fan. And unfortunately, you can't use the 20% off coupons on Bed Bath & Beyond, which is a scam, because I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond thinking I could use the coupon. And she was like, no, it doesn't apply to Dyson. And I was like, of course it doesn't. Here's the thing though. Number one, it has 10 speeds. And level 10 is like an air conditioner. It is a purifier and a cooling system of sorts, fan, whatever you want to call it. And it is, it is strong. Like definitely no rickety ass fan blades happening. Well, there's no blades at all. <laughs> it's amazing. Like I am not hot with that fan on me. So that was number one. So we've got the Dyson fan, the cozy earth sheets, chef's kiss. But this is what I really wanted to talk about. Also can't bring it in here because it's attached to my bed. I chose to go with the cover on the mattress and not the actual mattress itself because I have a performance sleep mattress and I just really love it, didn't wanna change mattresses. I got an eight sleep, which this is kind of what the app looks like. So I'm gonna show you basically a couple of things. This is a water-based mattress cover which is not uncomfortable because I was a little concerned I was gonna be able to feel the little tubes underneath it, but you can't. And this thing gets so cold. Not only somehow, and I don't know how, this cover, it reads your heart rate, your respiratory rate, gives you a little health report. It gives you a little sleep fitness thing, okay? Like, how cool is that? Time to fall asleep, time out of bed. I don't really necessarily know. Look, it even shows you your sleep stages. Tossing and turning, sleeping heart rate. I mean, for us, like this is, this is not just like a sleep cover. This is like a health fitness mattress cover, which like, that's, that's really freaking cool. So you can also do some meditations on here, breath work. There's different sounds, like rain sounds and stuff. I just, I was so shocked actually had no idea that all of this came with it i was just like using it for the cooling factor but this thing is so cold it almost feels like you're sleeping on ice like i have actually woken up at some point of the night i'm like okay i gotta turn it up it's too cold which is insane for me like if you are a hot sleeper again i know this is pricey i know this is a splurge however like when it comes hear me out hear me out when it comes to things that are expensive or like a big ticket item for me personally it's always going to have something to do with like my health or like my body something like that right like i'm not really a big purchaser of like designer showy things and no hey if you are somebody like that just explaining why i spend so much money on this because some people might look at that and be like oh my god why would you spend fifteen hundred dollars on a mattress cover Whereas I would be like, oh my God, why would you spend $1,500 on a bag? You know what I'm saying? So for me, I just find that like my quality of sleep was impacted so bad by how poorly I was sleeping from sweating my ass off that I was willing to make the larger purchase to sleep better and it was worth it. This is fantastic. Like, and it has really good reviews. So literally all you do on the temperature dial, you just start it. And then the cool thing is during the night, you can have it wake you up. So like at certain times, you can have it get colder, you can have it w gradually warm up to the time that you want to wake up essentially. And you can even set an alarm, which is like a light vibration under your back. Which like, again, so crazy technology these days, I'm still blown away with it and I really love it. So I just wanted to throw it out there. I know it's pricey, but in all honesty, in my opinion anyway, totally worth it have not sweat once now speaking of sweat this is the people are gonna laugh at me for this one i think this is awesome so this is a company called waggle and um i will put a discount code in the description box of this because they did give me a discount code for this but this is so cool now obviously i don't have an rv or a camper but i put it in the kennel because eliza's kennel is near the window and during the summertime, even though I have an air conditioned house, I'm psychotic and I never want the dogs to be too hot. So essentially Waggle is like a little temperature monitoring device for wherever your dog is. So I'm going to show you the app on here again. So this is the temperature of Eliza's kennel. <laughs> I know, I know this is crazy. It shows you the heat index. It has a little dog scale. It shows you the humidity. You can have alerts. You can talk to a vet. You can, I mean, 
who thinks of these things, right? So I just thought that was really cool. And obviously in the summertime, I know there's a lot of you who like take your dogs hiking and camping and all that good stuff. So this is something that you can keep in the car and it monitors the temperature and alerts you if it's too warm for your dog. Even if the air conditioning is on in campers, there have been horror stories of dogs overheating in campers and on hikes and things like that. So I think it's awesome. I love it. You do have to have a subscription though, but it's really not that expensive. You can have multiple dogs on here. You can have multiple monitors and there's also like a cool little home screen where like you can do like little you can look at RV destinations things like that I mean again this stuff is so cool I love it so that's all my techie favorites of the month this month I know that's a little silly but those of you who are dog parents you understand me last two things on the favorites two food food favorites this month now don't come at me this is a keto friendly donut whatever you know how I feel about keto diet this is not about being keto. One of Austin's clients, who's also my nutrition client, brought it to Austin for just a little treat at the gym. And I took a bite of it and I was like, oh, that's kind of pretty good. They have three flavors, I think. Red velvet, this is birthday cake, and then cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar is too dry, red velvet too dry. This one has a like icing cover on top for this whole donut. Now keep in mind, I only have half because there's so many sugar alcohols in here. I'm surprised, and this is the only reason why I'm mentioning it, I'm surprised this did not destroy my stomach because typically things with sugar alcohols do, um, but obviously there was only nine grams, which is still honestly kind of a lot, but per half of donut. So for the whole donut, it's 12 fat, 36 carb, and 13 protein, but of course, you know, they market it as net carb because of the sugar alcohols. It's amazing. I have not microwaved it yet. I know you, you can, but I actually kind of like it straight from the refrigerator, and I'm pretty pretty impressed. I'm usually a harsh critic on keto advertised products, but I will say I actually enjoyed this. Like it was just the right amount. I don't think a full one would have done it for me. Like I think it probably would have hurt my stomach, but the half of a donut was just enough. And it, I like that there was protein in it. Okay. Cause you know, Lenny's and Larry's cookies are out. I don't know if there's any other type of like protein cookie that's truly genuinely good. If you're looking for a good protein bar, Built Bar is the way to go. Honestly, the best for like any sweet tooth. They have such great combinations, but I haven't come across like a treat like that in a while that was good. So I don't know. Let me know what you think, but no fake shit. Okay. For this, for this favorite, these new salted caramel brownies, as you can tell, they're almost gone the Oreos. There were mixed reviews on this. Why? I don't know, but let me show you. They really, they put nice little sea salt. Look at that on there. And then the inside has a layer of half brownie and half salted caramel. Absolutely amazing. And the cookie part of this is crunchy. If you have ever had the gingerbread ones, the cookie's different. I don't know why it's not the same as regular oreo or golden oreos those are a little bit more soft these are crunchy i love the crunchy ones people were saying that it was just kind of like a chocolate oreo with salt on top i disagree i thought it was really good so so that is everything in my favorites video for this month i hope you guys enjoyed if i missed anything or you think i need to try something out as always leave them in the comments below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss monday or thursday with manders and that's all I got for you. I will see you in my next video.